Greetings, my fellow Naga worshippers. Today, we're embarking on a thrilling journey into the world of Fire Emblem, a beloved series that has captivated gamers for decades with its intricate blend of turn-based tactics and RPG elements. Together, we'll unravel the core gameplay mechanics that have made Fire Emblem a timeless classic. Let's dive in! The heart of Fire Emblem lies in its turn-based strategy gameplay. Players come on a diverse group of characters, each with unique abilities and roles, navigating them across grid-based maps to achieve specific objectives. One critical component that sets Fire Emblem apart from other strategy games is its emphasis on unit positioning and battlefield terrain. Not to mention the fact that Fire Emblem operates on a punishing permadeath mechanic. When a character falls in battle, they're gone for good. It's a brutal system that forces players to carefully consider every move and adds a layer of emotional investment and strategic depth that few games can match. From sword-wielding heroes to stealthy assassins, Fire Emblem boasts a wide array of character classes, each with distinct abilities and strengths. Understanding the nuances of these classes is crucial to outmaneuvering your foes and achieving victory. Take Pegasus Knights, for instance. With the dare ability to traverse vast distances and soar over obstacles, they are perfect for hit and run tactics. On the other hand, heavily armored knights might not be as agile, but they can absorb an impressive amount of damage. They are reliable bulwarks that can protect your squisher units from enemy assault. And then there's the Weapon Triangle, a staple of the Fire Emblem series. This rock-paper-scissors dynamic between swords, lances and axes is a simple yet effective way to introduce a strategic layer that requires players to carefully consider matchups before engaging in combat. Fire Emblem's progression systems are another key aspect of its enduring appeal. As characters gain experience in battle, they grow stronger, unlocking new abilities and occasionally promoting to more advanced classes. This growth is not only satisfying from a gameplay perspective, but also allows for deeper storytelling as characters' relationships and personal journeys evolve alongside their combat prowess. Let's not forget support conversations, a unique feature that adds depth to character development. By having units fight alongside each other, they can build relationships, uncover backstories, and unlock bonuses that make them even more effective when working together. It's a clever way to weave narrative into gameplay, enhancing both in the process. The true brilliance of Fire Emblem lies in its ability to challenge players to think critically and adapt their strategies to overcome diverse challenges. Each map presents unique obstacles and enemy formations that demand careful planning and tactical foresight. In the words of the great Sun Tzu, the supreme art of war is to subdue the enemy without fighting. In Fire Emblem, this wisdom is exemplified through the creative use of terrain, unit positioning, and exploiting enemy weaknesses. As a result, it's a game that encourages you to outsmart your opponents rather than merely overpower them. And there you have it, an in-depth exploration into the captivating world of Fire Emblem's core gameplay mechanics. We've discussed a riveting turn-based strategy, the variety of character classes, and the intricate progression systems that have made this series an enduring classic. Next time, we'll be trading our strategic maps for an artist's palette as we delve into from pixel art to 3D models, the evolution of Fire Emblem's visual aesthetics. We'll trace the series' journey from its humble 2D beginnings to the impressive treaty models of today and examine how these visual advancements have impacted the overall gaming experience. Thank you for joining me on this strategic journey through the world of Fire Emblem. 
If you've enjoyed our adventure, remember to share this essential knowledge with your fellow tacticians and let me know who your favorite Fire Emblem character is. Until we meet again in the realm of pixels and polygons, happy strategizing and may Naga be with you. Ciao!